Hello and welcome to the Physio channel. In this video, we're going to be using a tool. This is the rock blade to deliver an instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization to the hamstring. So come and have a look and see how we deliver the treatment. So usually when you're going over the hamstring area, the tool may not glide over the skin unless you put some emollient on there. I recommend you use a wax rather than an oil because that will still allow the tool to glide slowly and therefore you've got a better chance of getting more purchase through and underneath the skin. If you use oil, it's of course very slippery and therefore the tool is likely to glide up the skin so quickly that you're unable to get as much pressure and purchase and friction and um, shearing force through the tissues. So a bit of wax over there, we generally don't need that much. And then holding the tool, I'm gonna to hold it in the other hand so you guys can see a bit clearer. Pass over the back of the knee without too much pressure because it's quite sinewy there and not very muscular. Then as we start to get into more of the muscle bulk of the hamstring, we can apply a little bit more pressure. It does depend with your patient on how muscular they are and also how sensitive they are, which may of course be related to training and injury status. Otherwise, a light to moderate pressure. The tall angle here is about 45 degrees. And I'm moving up over the back of the leg slowly so that I don't overstimulate the nervous system, which can occur if we try and move too quickly. That can often be uncomfortable, painful, and uh, cause more of a stimulation of the area rather than a relaxation and a down regulation of muscle tone. So don't worry about how many times, you don't have to keep repeating and repeating the treatment. It's more a case of going through the hamstring musculature, going over the back of the leg, slowly, but with good effect. And then perhaps doing it two or three times, and you'll usually get excellent results within just two or three repetitions. So IASTM can be a very efficient way of delivering soft tissue treatment. When you're performing the treatment over the back of the leg, it also makes sense to angle the treatment. So I've done one down the center. I'll come now on the posterior lateral side of the leg. So I'm focused here more on the bicep femoris. and also over the posterior medial side of the leg, focusing here more on the semitendinosus and semimembranosus. For this treatment, I use the broader side of the tool, which would be this side, or I could have also used this side, whichever I felt was the most comfortable for the patient. And if you're using a different tool, you probably want to use the broader side on that tool as well. This is the rock tape mohawk. But if you wanted a more targeted treatment, you could use one of the narrower sides, such as here, for example, or on the other rock blade I was using, I could use this edge. So let me show you how I could do that. In this case, I'm going to hold the tool differently with one hand and put my fingers in the indents there. So I've got control of the tool and I can deliver what might feel like a more focused and precision treatment. This is another treatment position that you can use to deliver your IASTM over the hamstring. Placing the patient's leg over the shoulder, you can then hold the tool. I would prefer to hold it with two hands in this case and then deliver your treatment like so. Naturally, with the patient's leg in this position, it does feel a little bit more sinewy. By that, I mean a bit bumpy and less smooth as you pass through the hamstring. And that's because the muscle is in more of a lengthened position and the tool is not able to sink into the soft tissue as easily. But it is a position that you may find helpful especially if you're trying to improve the patient's flexibility. Patient reports from this are that it is a little bit more painful than the other technique where they're lying in prone, but it's always good to have different treatment options. 
Okay, that's it for this video on using tools to treat the hamstring with instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization techniques. We used a couple of different rock blade tools in this video, and I'll put some links about those in the description below. Otherwise, on the screen here, you should see some other videos of IASTM techniques, which may be of interest to you.